Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Turmel, running in my 92nd election for the Popper Party of Ontario in the riding of Sault Ste. Marie, Provincial, Ontario. And there was a debate uh, last Tuesday night. I was invited, I was on it, and this is the headline the next day. Debate disrupted by unruly candidate. So you have to wonder, how did I disrupt the debate with such unruliness? What was the unruliness? I used two bad words. I said, what kind of idiots? And I said, people who believe this are clowns. Those are the bad words, idiots and clowns, that and caused the unruliness which disrupted the debate. So, we'll talk about these articles now. Helping entrepreneurs. Thank you, Mr. Turnmill. Well, put more money in the hands of the workers, I heard. Or take less money out of the hands of the workers is another way to do it. This is right. the graph of Canada's national debt. And you'll notice in 1974, it started to explode. And down there, you have all the interest that was paid over the last 40 years, 30 billion, 40 billion, 40 billion, 50 billion, 60 billion, over a trillion, over a thousand billion paid in interest since something happened in 1974. Here's the Ontario debt. Guess what? Something happened in 1974, okay, that made the Ontario debt and debt service start to grow. Here's the Quebec debt, 1974, something happened. Well, you're going to have to go find out because I'm not telling you. you got to go to my site, smartestmanonearth.ca, because I know what happened in 19... Thank you. But as long as you're going to borrow your money from a bank and pay them interest, you're going to try and keep things short which is what they do. We have governments that are debtors, okay? The government's a debtor. And you, don't, you cannot imagine how stupid that is to be a debtor when you could print your own chips in the casino. You run the casino, but you let someone else run the chips and loan shark it to you, the owner? What kind of a moron Mr. does Mr. Turnbull. That? We do. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got more time. Anyway, because, <laughs> well, you see, I didn't get to introduce myself. I'm John the Engineer Turmel, the great Canadian gambler. I was known as the professor at the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. And Mr. I understand Turmel. how poker chips work. And I want to run money The question poker is chips. about the workplace review. Please focus on the question. Sweetie, if you're saving interest, what more do you need? Don't you get it? It's getting out of the Thank box, you. an overview. We're moving on to Mr. Kimpadich. I don't want to stay with the slowest person in the room. I'm giving you a warning that that's your first oh, oh. warning. The next time we're going to have to ask you to leave. Yeah. Oh, come on. Mr. Kimpadich. Now, all the other five parties are in on the global warming bandwagon. You know, we, or we have to stop the climate from changing. <laughs> okay, really. These people think that we should be trying to stop the climate from changing. It's perfect the way it is. <laughs> Isn't that funny? When it was global warming, you could complain and say, no, 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 it's cooling. But now that they claim climate change, anything cooling too. They're right. It changed. So when they went from global warming to climate change, that was a retreat that exposed their lying about global warming. And they got caught. Let's start this this is the one that gets everybody upset. Mr. Turnbull. <laughs> Boy, am I glad to go last. I'm not a nurse sandbox. <laughs> this is a graph over the last thousand years of the temperature. Notice the medieval warm period when Greenland was green. And when Britain, they had grapes and wineries. Greenland ain't green anymore. What kind of idiots can believe Mr. Turnbull. it was then? Mr. Turnbull. All they had to do. So I said, what kind of idiots could believe it's warmer now than then? And she found that objectionable. She must be one of the idiots. It was lie. Mr. Turnbull. To the... As if she's going to stop me from talking. She's just another piece of noise from the peanut gallery. 
who's trying to stop my presentation to talk about the what the tone of my presentation or the whatever how she feels about my presentation without letting me get on with it as if she's going to stop me <laughs> the climate called climate gate where they used a statistical trick to hide the decline since 1998 and it's not even as warm as the medieval warm period when greenland was green so this is what you get with orthodox politics, this is what you get with me, smartestmanonearth.ca. I know about the medieval warm period, you clowns don't. <laughs> Mr. Trimmel, that language is not acceptable. What language? Calling the audience clowns. Well, but sorry, that's, our, check out your dictionary. But you want our vote? Frankly, lady, not yours. We are, well, excuse me, that is not called for. Whoa, I will not come accept on, that behavior. I'm not sure exactly Political what correctness, is that what's going on here? I said clowns. People believe this kind of bull are clowns. I got a science degree, excuse you me. don't. Excuse me, getting back to the questions that matter here. Climate gates are hoax. With Mr. Kupadich, I apologize for the... Now, that got a few chuckles, okay? So, didn't sound like too many people were upset, right? Mr. Turnbull, that language is not acceptable. <laughs> She's upset. What kind of morons can believe this? She does. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Turnbull, you've lost your opportunity to speak oh, tonight. Gosh, isn't that sad? I'm going to have to take my opportunity anyway. We're moving on to They're going to complain finish. about $30 million. Excuse me. When I've got this graph here that's showing up, like her man for being called yourself. clown. Council Chambers, please. She believes in this graph and she sure. doesn't like when I call her a clown? Sure. Hey, please. You cannot touch me. Go get a cop, a man, a badger, a gun. Put your hands off me. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right? Excuse me. Those are the rules. So, the point is, yeah, you need a guy with a badger to go. Go get it. So, in the meantime, I'm going to take my time to answer until I'm gone. After she decided she's not going to let me answer the question with the others, things hit the fan, and they now put on this... Um, insert to cover everything and they shut off the sound in the audio for 25 minutes 25 minutes just basically what is your view on climate change please all right and my view on climate change is that there was a time when greenland was called greenland because it was green and when they grew grapes in britain and i have this graph here i keep showing people and i keep saying this is the last thousand years and when Greenland was green, it was a lot warmer than this little blip now, even if this little blip is warmer than the Ice Age. So what you're saying is they lied. They used a statistical trick to hide the decline since 1998. There's been no discernible warming since 1998. It's a scam, a hoax. They lied. So why and I hate scientists so, who so lie. Tell me, what year was so, it? So why, why do you think they're not? The establishment and such is the same. There is. Why do you think it's a whole? To what? To what name? What? what, name? To I, what name? Are they going to tax you some more? All right. Let's say that's a good enough thing. They found a new way to tax you, even if it doesn't do any good. You have to admit, the Greenland being green back then is an unimpeachable argument. People just sit there and they go into cognitive dissonance and shock because there's nothing they can say. There's the graph. It was warmer back when Greenland was green. Duh. <laughs> so the officer came up to me and said, uh, you were asked to leave, you didn't go? I said, yes. He said, well, would you come with me? I said, sure. <laughs> there you go. He has a badge okay. and a gun. <laughs> I think they still think I'm going to be charged at this point. The reporters, anyway. <laughs> Why do you think you walked to my car? Waiting for the cuffs. 
just have to say they let him go. <laughs> Down to the left. 